here is the uh, Quanjud Origin Roast Duck Restaurant here. It's very world renowned, well, it's very popular for the, uh, the Peking duck. There's a little image of the duck. Not made to measure, I should say. Nice car in there. Oh. Nice bike as well. Ryan Brar. Brar. Look at that. Meat fresh. Meat fresh, not meat. Mm. Play on words. Some guys just trying to work out what they're doing. I'm down there, and I went down there a minute ago. Lots of police station. And some restaurants down there, I suppose that might be, might be okay. They've got ice creams here, and they've got people busy working here. Don't want to disturb them. I, I'm getting the impression more and more, especially Beijing. I haven't been to all of China, but Beijing is quite wealthy. Hence the reason why prices are quite expensive. But cheaper than home, but expensive for Asia, that's, that's the point. You know, you know, there's actually not announced really here. I think I'm gonna uh, stop exploring here now. Gonna go back, have myself an arch artichoke too. Yeah, so how the other half live, that would cost me about, the whole packet for a hundred cost me about two pound. They're asking for about one pound for a tea, one pound fifty for a tea. So, doing very well indeed. Yeah. I was looking after myself. Noodle, instant noodle for dinner. Very good. Got some nutrients in that. Snarf, snarf. Don't worry, mother. Looking after myself, feeding myself well. There's a pecking chamber over there. Probably showed that yesterday. I always get confused because I went in this restaurant here yesterday. It's a 16.8. I went in there and it was 30, so I don't know what I was looking at. None of them were that. And what was hard about that restaurant was that everything was meat. There's no option. Seems to be a lot of people doing this. That stuff. If you want to go shopping, it's brilliant. But if you don't, it's very busy and very chaotic. On the on the left, we'll come up to it in a minute. There's a um, there's a cinema, but on the right here, just at the moment, there is a that's duck. The meat is uh, like a food. Food place, obviously, all in Chinese. There's dumplings there. There are the ducks. Vegetables. They're literally going to be really getting padlock then tonight because it's so rare to come across. I haven't seen any, veg like, any vegetables. I've seen fruits in the supermarkets. Like, um, like, you know, like, uh, I don't know. It's because I was reading about something and it was saying that because of the fact that tomatoes are used in, in as a as a part of the main meal, they're not used as a, they're not they're not a dessert. They kind of cons can't consider it to be a fruit. Sorry, to be a fruit, uh, a vegetable, not a fruit. But because it's got seeds, it should be a fruit. But it's quite, it's a bit kind of 
a bit confusing, but that's that's how it works. It should be a it should be a it should really be a fruit, but it's a vegetable. But it goes for a main meal. It's really interesting actually this documentary. There is a documentary, it's um podcast. It's busy in there actually. Peking duck is everywhere, it's just like it's like their number one dish. They're not ashamed of of eating it. No way. This would be the place that I would come and and uh, spend a month because Unless I was going to eat some noodles and, and stay where I am staying and not do very much. You go on about that, but you know, well, I mean, it's just because, it's like, I was eating up back in Vietnam for about a pound a meal. Sorry, one pound fifty a meal. Here, the cheapest thing that you can buy, meal-wise, uh, from this restaurant probably is about two pound forty. So, and that's really for something really basic, you know, not something that's like, kind of, you know, a bit extravagant, a bit, you know, a bit of a treat, you know, looking at a treat, you're looking probably about six, seven pounds, maybe, for a treat, which is still good in comparison to, to home, but when you're on a budget, it's, that adds up, you know what I mean, you've got to think about, you know, you can't do that for every meal, otherwise, you wouldn't be having another meal, because <laughs> you wouldn't be able to afford it. So, so yeah. But it is not, you know, it's a different culture. I wanted to come here, not because it was going to be, not, most, not because I wanted to go somewhere even cheaper, because obviously that's, this is not the case. But I wanted to go somewhere where I could, where I could see another culture and, you know, find out more about the, about the place, really. What a lot of restaurants. Yeah, there's not. There's not much more to see, I don't think, so I'm gonna head back. Well, there's a lot to see, there's just not much there. I want to see. Apparently, um, a lot of places do the pecking duck, but mm, that restaurant that I was showing earlier is the main. Is the main person. They look nice, don't they? Donuts. You don't know. They look like the ones, uh, um, I don't know what you call them. It's pretty cool. It's all very nice. All of this nice looking food is quite overwhelming, but. I put myself in rational mode. I've got fruit here as well, but there you are. See, the strawberries are 30, little oranges are 10, so 30 is about £2.50 for them or, um, strawberries. All the oranges up there, they're 12. Bananas, they're 18. I don't know where they've gone, they're over there. They're 18. That was S8 for like some pears. 18 for oranges up there. Hey, yeah, you're right. So, it's not that cheap, really. But I don't know if I'm not in a. I'm in quite a busy, kind of expensive area. It's so different to, to Vietnam. I haven't seen very much of it here. But I do like the fact that like everything's kind of more a reasonable price, and, and it's there's a lot more of it. It's a lot of, like yeah, it's a lot fresh. Seems to have more fresh ones. Whereas here, it's all about meat. It seems very, it seems more meaty. You know what I mean? Like meat on sticks. I mean, they do have that in Vietnam. Obviously, I've shown videos of that. But like you know, they love it. You know, all around, that's what I've seen everywhere. That's their snacks. It's all meat snacks. You know, they've got no, you know, the fruit that they have is so expensive. But, you know, like I said, I just paid about one pound on for some bananas. When I was in Vietnam, I was paying... Probably about... 
50p, maybe, not even that. I was paying like 30, 30p for a pineapple. I wouldn't get that here for a whole pineapple. Yeah, it's just like, you're not gonna, just not going to get the same, really. It's just it's different. And I know, I know Japan's going to be worse. It's going to have even, even less stuff. Even, even, even more. Even less of a variety, or or a good amount of variety, at an extortionate price, which isn't right really because it's not as really expensive. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm back at the hostel now. The yeah, hostel, and they have a restaurant here as well. And I'm just gonna go back in, chill out for a bit.